Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Silver Lake United Methodist Church. My name is Alex Rosso, and I'm the pastor of this community. It's a great day to be in worship with you all. As we begin worship today, I want to uh, celebrate with you. And I know we have a couple birthdays coming up this week. And, uh, and so I want to invite, I'm going to give you all time to share them before I share them. So I know there's uh, one over here on my right, if they want to share. No? <laughs> so, so, so Gary's birthday is on June 29th, and then I also have uh, Trenton Gardner. His birthday is on the 29th as well, so birthday twins. Are there any other birthdays or anniversaries coming up this week? Morgan is on Saturday, and he turned 13, right? It's a big birthday. On the mission trip, Morgan said, I can order the kids' meal for a couple more days. <laughs> Are there any other birthdays coming up this week? I have an, an announcement of an anniversary. Marlene and I are celebrating our 65th wedding anniversary this coming Thursday. Awesome. Congratulations, Bob. Years. Are there any other anniversaries? That's awesome. Anniversaries, birthdays that you'd like to celebrate? How about announcements that you'd like to share with the community? Kathy has one. Good morning. I have several. Um, as we all know, this is a big transition week for us. Um, so Tuesday, we are having a work day at the Parsonage to do things. So anyone that can join us, please come. And we're starting at 8 in the morning. But whatever time you can get there would be great. Um, also, I'm passing around an envelope that we're collecting money to purchase some local gift cards to give to Pastor Cameron and his wife um, to welcome them to the community. And that way they can get out and um, experience some of the local restaurants. So I'm going to start over here. And then when we get to the back, we're going to pass it up towards the front here and then over to the other side and um, please stay around after church for a farewell reception for the Rossos um, we will have cake and punch in the fellowship hall and we look forward to everyone joining us as well as next Sunday a potluck to welcome Pastor Cameron so that's thank you Kathy are there any other announcements Jackson has one, and then uh, Jane Kelsey has one. So I just want to make a say thank you to Alex for. So let me give you a little backstory. So the high school will be hosting a relay for life for cancer awareness on August 27th, and this summer, uh, Alex has graciously let the relay for life and the entire community do community meetings here, and so the first one will be tomorrow at, I have to check which time, uh, I think it's at 7, no, 6, it's at 6 tomorrow, so anyone's welcome, if you can make it, I highly encourage that you be here. Thank you, Jackson. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I talked to you several months back about the scholarship fund. And I was hoping somebody would make a few donations to our scholarship fund because the cash available is only $250. This next year, we will have, in all likelihood, a couple of our students graduating who might apply for that scholarship. And we can only afford to do one right now. The endowment is 5000 and it has not been drawing a great deal of interest, as you can well imagine, over the past few years. And I want to encourage you, even in this time of deep inflation, as we all are aware of it, that you reach into the bottoms of your pockets, the bottoms of your purses, and over the summer, take that loose change, put it in a jar, and come September 1st, donate that money to the scholarship fund here for our youth. Thank you. Thank you, Jane. I know, uh, I know Jackson is the oldest youth 
And you're, you're a, you'll be a junior this year, right, Jackson? All right. So there's a, a little bit more time than you thought, Jane. <laughs> uh, then an announcement I wanted to share. I hear it going off somewhere over here, Sarah. Somewhere over here. Uh, she's looking for her phone. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, I know <laughs> Sandy has it. We got it. <laughs> uh, I know also there's a sign-up sheet in the bulletin. I, I, on the, while I was on the mission trip, I wasn't 100% certain the date for VBS, but it is July 27th through 29th. I think in the bulletin it says TB, to, to be determined. And so I really want to encourage you to, to sign up and uh, serve and, and volunteer as we have uh, the kiddos here. Uh, remember that you're serving and you're volunteering for them is uh, a real life tangible presence of God showing up for them and so I just invite you uh, to do that and that's on the 27th and 29th and then like Kathy said I believe in your bulletin on the right hand side is the uh, three three upcoming dates uh, uh, including today for the transition the uh, reception afterwards for for our family and then uh, on a Tuesday uh, though there's cleaning up at the parsonage, uh, uh, be starting roughly around 8.30. And I know a lot of the, the youth uh, are going to be there, and I know a lot of other people will be there. And so I just want to encourage you to do that as well. And then next uh, Sunday is the potluck for Pastor Cameron, and just to come and be present and share your stories with him. Uh, and so I just invite you to do all those things. Uh, will you please stand as we sing the opening hymn, This Is The Day. I mean, you can if you want to. This is the day, this is the day. Amen. And then the next uh, song that we'll be singing together is To God Be the Glory. And during this time, uh, Carly and Morgan will be uh, handing you one of the cool things about going on a mission trip to a bayou is you get to spend time on the beach. And so uh, they hunted and collected uh, seashells to give to each and every one of you. And so that's, they're going to be passing those around as we sing To God Be the Glory.
Let us continue to worship by singing, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. And we'll be singing verses 1, 2, and 4. Please join me in the unison prayer. God of all, you are of lords and king of kings. You invite people from all nations and tongues into your kingdom. You invite all people to experience the abundance that comes in an eternal relationship with you. Give us the eyes to see your extravagance and be the extravagant people who glorify you. Amen. You may be seated, and let's continue in a time of prayer together. I want to invite each of you to, to share anything that you'd like the community to be in prayer for over this coming week, or a joy that you are, are celebrating, uh, and you would like to share that with the community. Kathy. If you could please remember my cousins, the Berkman family. My Aunt Margie passed away this past week. Um, she was my dad's sister and the last living um, aunt or uncle on either side of our family. And her funeral will be on Tuesday in Lillis. I talked to Judy Howell yesterday. And she has fallen twice in the last month and broken some ribs. And... Uh, her family has threatened her if she falls again, she's going into a nursing home. So keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Okay, we'll keep Judy. And then Kathy, was, was Hershey? Um, Margie. Margie, okay. Still have sand in my ears. Uh, Alex, we need to keep Doris Herdig and her family in prayer this week. Her son-in-law, Guy Reinhardt, passed away. Mm. Um, please keep my friend uh, Kim Smirchek in your prayers. She'll be having surgery on Tuesday to go in, and um, they're going to try to put a, put a little hole in where the tumor is at um, and hopefully relieve it and give her some relief. So, And then the prayers for a co-worker of mine. Um, she lost her husband last week, and his name is Tom. Thank you. Uh, 
I just wanted to give you an update. Bill's girlfriend is doing fine, and her mother and dog. Awesome, thank her you. Her dog's name's Cloud. Awesome, thank you for the update, Darlene. My twin sister, Kimberly, is going to have surgery on Wednesday, and um, I'm going to go out and sit with her for a couple weeks for her recovery. So if you would remember her, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Are there any others that people would like to share with the community? All right, let's go to God in prayer together. God, we, we give you thanks. Thanks for uh, all of us being uh, here and present together as we worship you today. We give you thanks for the the brief uh, relief from the, the summer heat that uh, we felt as we walked in to worship today. We give you thanks for uh, technology that allows us to, uh, to worship with, uh, with those of us who are, are worshiping on, online, online with us and to, to build a community that uh, goes way beyond the physical walls of the church. God, we, we pause right now in this moment as a, a community uh, to, to voice all those things in which we are grateful for in this moment of silence. God, we, we, we give you thanks and we praise you for these things, the things that were just uh, spoken to you. God, as a, as a community, we are uh, experiencing a lot. Uh, and so as a community, we, we voice and, uh, and, and say that the, the prayers of the community that are in the back of the bulletin and surround all of those people in prayer throughout the week, but also specifically uh, those that were uh, spoken during worship today. Uh, we ask that you surround the, the Berkman family after Margie's uh, passing. May they feel your, your presence as they uh, share stories about how Margie has, has influenced them and impacted them and plays a role into who they are today. Uh, may they feel your presence as they cry and as they laugh together, as they celebrate her laugh, life. God, we, uh, we ask for, uh, for Judy, for, we pray for, for healing for her ribs, but also that uh, uh, she stays stable as she moves around and so she does not uh, fall. And just ask that uh, you continue to be uh, present and with Judy as she heals and recovers. Uh, God, we ask that you surround uh, Doris Hertig and her family after the, the passing of her, of her son-in-law, Don Reinhardt. Uh, we ask that you uh, comfort and, and give peace to the family through your, your presence as they uh, share stories and remember Don. God, we uh, pray for the, the Angela's uh, co-worker at work uh, and for the family and friends of Tom, that your uh, presence surround them and and let them know that, that you are with them and that they are each loved and, and cherished as they uh, share how, how Tom has impacted them in their, their lives. God, we, we pray for, for Angela's friend who is having a surgery this week. Uh, we ask that you uh, work through the, the medical teams that will be uh, caring for her and, and all those that come to visit her in the hospital, that they may be a source of your hope 
a source of your healing and a source of your recovery. And God, we also pray for uh, Chris's uh, twin sister, Kimberly. Uh, first, we pray for safe travels uh, for, for Chris as she uh, goes to be with her, uh, her sister. God, I ask that uh, Chris's presence with her sister uh, be your presence, uh, a comforting and calm and peaceful presence as uh, Kimberly uh, goes into surgery. And we ask that you work through all the medical team that is uh, caring for her. May you guide and lead them as they care for her and may they all be a source of hope, healing and strength for Kimberly. God, we pray for our world. God, we, we pray for the leaders of the world. God, we pray for the leaders of uh, our nation, the leaders of our community. May you guide and lead them in their discernment processes so they can uh, shepherd people in a way in which you would shepherd people. God, we pray all of this in the same way that Jesus taught his disciples and continue to teach us, teach us by praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Please stand for our scripture reading today, which comes from the Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verses 9a. Don't just pretend to love others, really love them. May God as a, add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and understanding of God's word. Amen. And so everybody's going to stay in, in here for worship today as the youth share their stories. And so uh, I'm going to invite the, the youth to come up. Uh, Jackson's bringing, and you may be seated. Uh, Jackson's bringing a, a couple microphones, so you, you all can uh, come up. You can stand for the whole time, right? Your legs aren't that tired. Yeah, we were in a van for eight hours yesterday. And so Jackson's gonna gonna be uh, give you all kind of an, an overview, and then each I we asked each one of them to to write down and to uh, be intentional about uh, what they're going to share with you today. So know that what they share, uh, they prayed a lot about. They asked for guidance about it. And that this is just a, a small glimpse of what we did for the time that we were there. OK, so I guess I'm the oldest. I get to go first. But so. Every day, starting Sunday through Thursday, we would do this thing called the gathering, which is where everyone, everyone would meet up and the staff members there would kind of do like a little worship for like half an hour maybe. And so we'd always start off with a little game we'd play that would, that would tie in with the overall message for the day. And then we'd do these things called boxes of chocolates, which were like nice things that we saw other people do and then yay gods, which are things that we are thankful for God to see. And so what we will be doing today is going through the line and saying our yay gods. So I'll start, and then we'll go over there and kind of flip-flop. So my yay god was on Thursday, We went. some of us went into groups and did a thing called a prayer walk, which I think we should start doing here every once in a while. And we would go around in like groups of four and just walk around the community stop at a house and just pray for them. And we could do it with like businesses or churches. But there was one house in particular where all the houses we went to, no one, like people may have been home, but they were all inside. It was really hot down there. But this one house, a grandma, a mom, and a son were out sitting. And 
our adult leader that was with us went out and kind of said, hey, is all right we've, if we pray with pray for you? And they were kind of like reluctant a little bit, and they said yes, so we prayed for them. The three of us kids, they had a really cute dog out, so we were petting him, and our adult leader was talking to him, and I was kind of listening to the conversation, and you could tell at first that they were kind of guarded, kind of like, who are these people? But later on, they started kind of telling us, we told them that we were with Youth Works, the company, and we were kind of on their, on a youth trip, and they had, they kind of started telling us, like, weird stuff that had been happening. Like when this mom had, was pregnant with her son, they didn't know what they were gonna call it. And then she said that she had a dream of Josiah leading people out and becoming like a king. And so she said after that dream that she was going to name the, her kid Josiah. And so it was stuff like that that really just moved me. And it was on the last day. Like I was kind of like, oh, was mine gonna be for church? I don't know, and then the last full day we were there, I saw this, I was like, I know it's going to be now. Uh, I am thankful for getting to help so many incredible people. I got to help so many different people, whether that was helping in the Alba Middle School, painting and talking to Gerald, and helping and playing with the kids at Kids Club. I loved helping all those people have a better life and seeing how grateful they were for our service. Uh, my year God is uh, seeing the dolphins on Monday. My, my yay God is getting Miss Vieira's benches painted, patio painted, and shed cleaned. She was a lovely lady and worked alongside us. She gave us pop, water, and Gatorade as a thank you for working hard for her. She's very hospitable and extremely kind. Uh, my yay God would be like that too with Miss Vieira and helping out clear her shed and getting her gardens to look uh, really beautiful. And yeah, she... Really, she gave us pops and gave us a few snacks, and she was very nice. So I'm very thankful for... <laughs> I'm very thankful for the people I got to meet on the trip. Um, I got to meet local business owners, uh, local kids, kids from Georgia and Minnesota and Tennessee. And it was really great getting to meet those people and um, making new memories and bonds that I'll remember forever. I'm thankful for all the people that I met. I met people from Michigan, Georgia, Tennessee, and Missouri but also met some kids that lived in Alabama that I was helping. It was really refreshing when they said that they were grateful for what I was doing. I was mostly at a middle school with minimal shade and thorns everywhere, so those conditions, I wanted to stop working. But I always remember those kids that I was helping. I hope I made an amazing difference in their life. I am thankful for the youth leaders, Sydney, Kelsey, and Harrison. They made everything really organized as we had a schedule for each day. They made it fun and they took us to some places in Bayou. They were also really nice and fun to hang out with and talk to. Sydney, Kelsey, and Harrison are also really good about helping the community and making everyone happy. My day God is for the kids in Kids Club. Kids Club is a safe place where kids can come and play, have fun, and learn more about God. The kids were very kind, thankful, and re really made this mission trip a lot more fun. Okay. My A God is for blessing us with this opportunity to serve in Bayou Laboratory, but meet new people and draw us closer to God. I'm trying to encourage him to, to share what, what he wrote down because I think it's, it's pretty 
pretty important, and it might inspire some uh, of you all to, to do what they did. Uh, Brenda and Sarah, did you want to share? I don't have anything specific about the trip. There was too many yay gods and all that. They pretty much covered everything. But what I would like to do is a thank you to the congregation. I will try not to cry, but it's too late. Um, thank you guys for coming to all of our fundraisers, all of your prayers, even... We even had people contacting us during our trip. Um, that was great, just knowing that they were praying for us, um, seeing how we were doing, um, and for your connection with the youth, because this is the future of the church. So right here in front of you. Um, sorry. Um, I'm really not an emotional person, so. Um, to Joe and Jonah for taking the bus back yesterday so Alex could have a break and for Jonah to also getting the bus on Friday with Alex. Um, that was very nice. Uh, Steve, thank you for helping with the slideshow at the last minute. Um, parents, Thank you for all your help with the fundraising, trusting us with your kids for a week, and letting them come and grow closer to God. Um, Alan and Bill, thanks for holding down the fort for us. I think everything was pretty much clean when I got home. Thank you. Um, Gina, thank you for giving us Alex and Lydia for the week. Um, because I knew you were especially busy this week with ball games and packing and mostly <laughs> not to single anyone out there. Um, Sarah, thank you for your driving, all the great laughs this week, and some sweet dance moves. See me after worship if you guys needed to look, see that. Um, Alex. Okay. Um, I don't know where to start. Um, you've made such a huge uh, impact on this church, this community, and all these guys up here. Um, well, Mago will be very blessed to have you, and I'm grateful that you have been able to spend your last week and your last Sunday here at Silver Lake United Methodist Church with you. We will all miss you more than you know. We will cherish all the fun times with you and your family. We will continue to pray for you and your family as you go off to Omega and bless them and bless that community with your gifts. Thank you. Um, now to you guys. This is harder than what I thought, sorry. Um, you guys, I'm not talking about just this week, but... You guys have been hard workers. When I ask you guys to do something, you guys have done it. When we have projects to do or fundraising to do, you guys always pull through. And in addition to that, we, um, I, on the way home, I was like, hey, um, they need help with the parsonage on Tuesday. Who can help? And they were like, oh, let me text my mom. Let me text. Let me find out if I can or not. So we have nine youth coming to help Tuesday. In addition to that, we've got... Um, Jonah's kids are also going to come and help out and volunteer. So um, it's great to see that they didn't just serve down there in Alabama for the week, that they're going to continue on. So, and have the house ready to go for Cameron. Um, not just this week also, but it has been um, amazing to see you guys grow closer to God. And... Um, when Alec, or when Cameron comes, I just want you to show him how awesome you really are and to 
exceed his expectations. That's it, I'm done. So I'm going to kind of piggyback off of Brenda's because we had a great trip and the youth did a really good job and they all grew and they did an amazing job helping the community and bonding with everyone that we were in, that we encountered and they grew as a group together and helped one another and shared one, everything with one another. And we had some very long days and very short nights. And so considering how tired everyone was, I'd say that we had a very um, beneficial bonding and time and a uh, mission trip. And with that, I would also like to thank everyone for helping and allowing us to go. But I would also really like to thank Brenda organizing all a lot of the concessions and fundraising and all of the a lot, I think uh, Morgan and Carly decided where we were originally going to go right or yeah so and then uh, I would also like to thank Alex and uh, sorry we didn't think to Alyssa thought we should get Alex a bracelet and sorry we didn't think about that down in by at the Dolphin Island. Um, so, uh, but it was, and we really appreciate Alex coming. We know he was extremely exhausted and he was very <laughs> beneficial in helping us and guide us to do the appropriate thing in some um, not so good situations sometimes, but overall. We all grew, and it was very successful. And thank you all for allowing us to go on the trip and supporting us. And thank you, youth, for hanging in there and doing a really good job. So pat yourselves on the back. Thank you. And then I'm just going to share a couple of things. Uh, like, uh, when we, like, Sarah and Brenda were pretty much the, the yin to my yang. Uh, like when I was down there, like, we should do this. I was like, sure. Like I just like, all right, we can do whatever. And they're like, all right, we're going to do this at this specific time. And we're going to do that. I'm like, OK, thank you. It was exactly like what, what I needed when we were down there to be very uh, specific. But then also uh, just the, with the, we had an unfortunate hotel experience. But uh, and then Sarah and Brenda were like, we're just going to drive. And so they. They rotated, they did the midnight shift uh, uh, driving and alternating every other hour. So we were able to get back uh, here safely uh, yesterday morning, a lot earlier than we were uh, supposed to. Uh, but there were a lot of powerful experiences on the trip. Uh, and we, as the adults here who helped them process what they were experiencing it was very it was a, a blessed opportunity to be the people that sat with you and got to hear what you all were experiencing whether it was uh whereas like the the work conditions which were if you can imagine it hot and humid uh when the day jackson was on they were on when who was on the prayer walk who did the prayer walk yeah when they did a prayer walk, like the heat index was over 110, and they were out walking around and doing that. So if they can do that there, everybody should be able to do that here. Uh, how many of you all painted this week? Look at that. And so now, if you know of anybody who needs something to be painted here, who might not be able to or is limited in their ability to do that? Look at that. We got people that are able to do that. How many of you weeded this week? Now, if you need help in your garden <laughs> because you can't bend down like you used to, you got people who can help you with that. How many people just need to be encouraged sometimes? Yeah. We got a group of people here who did that for a whole week for each other. They're a pretty amazing group. You know, we had a, a night where we cried, we cried together, right? Like, it was Thursday night. 
and like the, the preface was, like from Harry Sidney and Kelsey was, is that you won't remember this. You, you, will re you won't remember. You will remember this, and you won't be able to forget it. And uh, it was when, uh, so you know the story in the gospel, uh, all, most all the gospels, I think except for the gospel of John, before the, the, the Passover supper, when we celebrate communion together, we the story about communion, where Jesus is, uh, comes in, and before his, his friends, the disciples, sit at the table, does anybody remember what he does? He washes their feet. And so uh, the youth work leaders washed uh, Sarah, Brenda, and my feet, and then gave us the buckets, and then said, now go wash the people who are on the trip with you. And I think at first you guys might have been laughing a little bit, right? Like, they're going to wash our feet? Like, what? what's going to go on here? What is this? Uh, I didn't sign up for this. And, uh, but it, I, I will never forget that. I know I didn't wash all of your, all of your feet. Uh, just wash the guys in Lydia's feet. But that's something I will never forget. And uh, I'm grateful for it. And just thank you. That's it. Did anybody want to add anything? Jackson did. They're going to cheer you up for a second with yeah. a dance. So we, had a, we rented a really nice bus or van from this place in Kansas City, and it had Bluetooth. So on the way back, we were kind of jamming out. <laughs> and so we didn't realize Alex knew all the words to Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> Yeah, but do you have something, Morgan? No? Oh, you're looking at me like you might have something. And then, are we good to go with that, the, the next one? Yep, all right. Are you ready? Show off your dance skills.
church church has been clapping at week sermons leaving the week hurt that was changed by sunday service we need discernment check what you be affirming because the church can be full of members but empty and conversions There was like there was like 50 or 60 kids, youth, almost adults, doing that all at once, and they would they would do it together. And uh, I think even you guys were trying it, weren't you? Or were you hanging hanging around, hanging out hanging in the back or weren't in the room yet? Yeah. So everybody was doing it. It was pretty pretty neat to to see them uh, do that. Uh, Morgan's gonna share. Uh, something with you. She created a, a slideshow uh, and they wanted to share that with you all. I'm just going to reiterate some of the pictures. So this was at Rosslyn Park. We had a community member come out and make some food for us. His name was Robert and they were eating some shrimp. And then this was us at the beach. Um, the Left one was Friday, and Jackson was on Monday. <laughs> and this was us burying Lydia and Jackson and two mermaids. <laughs> and then this, and then we were at the Feeding the Gulf Coast Community or Food Bank, and they're painting Gerald's house, I think. Okay, Gerald. And then we were cleaning vines off of Alba's middle school's fence. And then they were painting Mrs. Vera's house and cleaning the inside of Alba Middle School. And then this is us at Kids Club, doing crafts and playing games, and then on Thursday we had a water day. And then we took a tour and there were the casino boats that were damaged in Katrina and they've just been sitting there. And then we were, went to the shrimp boats. And then this is us at the gathering, doing the church clap Friday morning, and then devotion. And we went to Robert's family's restaurant on Friday after the beach, and this is Friday morning of us all together. And then us at the food bank with, with our totals of how many pounds and meals we did. And then we found a dog at Alba Middle School on the prayer walk, and they took a picture with Gerald, or, yeah, Gerald. And then this is us getting to know Sydney and making bags where you could write kind notes to everybody throughout the week. And these are just some funny pictures we took on the way home. <laughs> but but the, all the, the whole way, each and every one of them is so thankful for you all and everyone in the community who supported them, made this possible, uh, and uh, really just relatively inexpensive for all of them. And, uh, and so just thank you for the ways in which you uh, have supported them, encouraged them, uh, prayed for them, and we're just so grateful for that. And I just want to encourage you to continue to do that. Uh, continue to do that on the, on the next mission trip they go on and the, and the next one they go on because a lot everyone here uh, it was really their, their first mission trip and they're they're young enough that they're gonna go on multiple mission trips uh, as as they grow in your in, in your 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 church your community and just to continue to be a community that that supports them and pours into them encourages them to grow as they uh, uh, Transform the world, because that's really what they were doing down there. But on each day that they served, 
Uh, they are transforming the world through sharing God's love with everyone that they met, whether it was other participants from other churches or with the uh, people in the community that, that, that they met. And so uh, thank you, and thank you to all of you as well. And so uh, I just want to invite you uh, today and in the weeks ahead, ask them more stories, because they're uh, we, could, we told stories uh, for the whole trip the way back. And so there's tons of stories and neat little random facts that they learned uh, about Bayou La Batre while we were down there. And so ask them, ask them those. Uh, there's some pretty cool ones. And there's really interesting ones too. And so thank you all. Uh, you can stand up here the whole rest of the time if you'd like, or you can be, uh, be seated. Whichever one you want to do. But give them a big uh, hand clap of praise. Uh, and so now we're going to do the offertory and doxology. Uh, and so for today, uh, part, part of the, their trip was uh, raised with fundraisers, but uh, Part of it was not. Part of it is what your, uh, when you give God's tithes and your offerings, you also support what they did too. And uh, how cool is it to see like a tangible expression of God working through your tithes and your offerings. And that's what this was today. And so I invite you on the back of your bulletin, you can uh, give electronic electronically. You can also register your attendance or as you leave in the offering box, I just invite you to give God's tithes and offerings there as we listen to Kathy play the offertory. Will you please stand as we sing the doxology together? going to do this, I, I, I figured if I, I wrote it down, I wouldn't, uh, it would limit the amount of tears. Uh, and so we're going to kind of say this uh, farewell uh, liturgy together. And uh, I'm going to start, and then uh, the, you'll see the words up there, and uh, you'll, you'll have a, a part, part to play too. And so I just invite you to speak those words as they're put on the screen. So I thank you, the members and friends of Silver Lake United Methodist Church, for the love and support you have shown me and my family while I have ministered among you. I am grateful for the ways my leadership has been accepted. I ask for forgiveness for the mistakes I have made. As I leave, I carry with me all that we have learned here together.
I accept your gratitude and forgiveness, and I forgive you, trusting that our time together and our parting are pleasing to God. I release you from turning to me and depending on me. I encourage you continuing ministry here, and will pray for you and for Pastor Cameron. Let us pray. Eternal God, whose steadfast love for us is everlasting to everlasting, we give you thanks for cherished memories and commend one another into your care as we move in new directions. Keep us one in your love forever through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so now I invite you to stand and we'll sing uh, the closing hymn, Shalom to You. And then, so I, I told uh, Joe Booba one thing uh, before I left. I said, one, one picture I want is uh, I'm going to take a, a selfie of us all. Uh, so if you're on the left side over here, I want you to squeeze in the middle. And uh, I'm just going to hold, hold up my phone and try to get everybody. So squeeze towards the middle. Everybody squeeze towards the middle. We have middle aisle. Okay, and so I want to invite you to, to please, she's, she's fine right there, Dale. I want to invite you to just stand for the benediction. Do you want me to push you out, Thelma, as I give the benediction? No? Okay. All right, please hear the benediction. God, I give you thanks for each one of these individuals in this room and for all those that are worshiping uh, with us online, and even for those that are able to be with us today. Thank you for uh, creating each of them uniquely and the gifts and talents that you have blessed them with. I just ask that you uh, encourage them and uh, nudge them and guide them to use the gifts and talents which you have blessed them with. In your name I pray, amen. <laughs>